My, my. I can tell you are a special one from a single glance. You have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. Don't be shy. An intriguing pair. Takes me back to my youth. More than interested, if you feel the same. <laughs> what do you think, silly? Love, of course. Hot and vulgar with me. Or <laughs> sweet and sincere with my sister. Trust me, you don't want to miss my signature Mezoberanzan love trick. And is that your partner with you? What a gorgeous couple. Perhaps we could come to an agreement. Well, there are two of us, aren't there? Use your imagination. So long as all are willing, I see no reason why we should deny ourselves. Charming. There must be a sprinkling shower of gold first. <laughs> Coin. Let's go. This is thrilling. Quite the merry little party we have assembled here. Shall we? I hope you're not afraid of the dark, my darling. I must snuff out the lights before we begin. It's all part of the experience. The room is bathed in total darkness, so there is nothing to distract from your ecstasy. The lady, Nim, moves your hand to where the clasps of her blouse lie. I can't quite believe it. A night of passion with the famous Hulsin. I might faint before I can expend myself. Legends spread of you throughout the city. We heard tell that you can change into... a bear. <laughs> I hadn't realized I was that popular. <laughs> but we must give the people what they want, mustn't we? Will tonight at last be the night I die during an act of pleasure? Fur tickles your bare nethers as the two drows scream in terror and delight. The drow are filled with awe at your and Halsin's habits throughout the night, time and time again. Give me a moment, for pity's sake. You've exhausted me already. We recover quickly, but not that quickly. <sighs> Even in the best of times, it's an oasis of pleasure and calm. In the city's chaos, with Baldur's Gate preparing for war, the caress feels like the final flicker of a beautiful flame before darkness falls. Speak to me, lover. <laughs> Indeed, our time with them was certainly bracing. <laughs> Takes me back to some youthful misadventures in the Underdark. <laughs> Very much so. One positive I will concede about city life is that you never know what lies around the corner. It was a long time ago. I was a foolhardy young druid 
intent on seeing the beauty of nature's unworldly fauna and subterranean glow for myself. Certain events transpired, and I found myself a guest of a noble drow house for a time. Well, something between guest, prisoner, and consort, perhaps. The house matron took an interest in me, and the patron also. They saw me as a novelty, perhaps. I was chained in their bedchamber for nigh on three years. It was not ideal, but not without its positives either. I did what was necessary to survive, and perhaps a few things that were less than necessary. <laughs> Don't misunderstand me. I feared for my life and wanted my freedom back, but I was willing to wait for my moment. And eventually it came. Lolth's noble houses are constantly at each other's throats, and eventually some rivals of my hosts sought to unseat them. It was chaos, drow against drow, the clash of blades echoing throughout caverns, the feel of warm blood that I could not see. I took my chance and fled while all were distracted. I never looked back until I breathed fresh air again. And never learned what came of my hosts. Time can prove to be a trickster on one's recollections. What would be multiple lifetimes for others now separate me from my captivity. Perhaps I have lost perspective on what happened to me. I have not had true confidence for some time. The Shadow Curse robbed me of almost all my peers and replaced them with the weight of responsibility. Perhaps that caused me to gild undeserving memories of my youth. I am lucky to have your counsel. It was sorely needed. No, I shall not take you for granted, nor my own past. What is the point of long life if one does not make room for reflection? 